Hey guys, Anthony at Mill Street Boxing. Today I'm going over the rival RB5 bag gloves. So, I did myself a favor and treated myself and bought myself some new beautiful bag gloves. These are the rival RB5s and they are just a bag glove, okay? So there's not a lot of uh, padding or cushioning on them. They're the old school style gloves. Um, it was time for a new pair. I had my old ring sides, which have treated me well for years and years and years. Um, and I ended up looking up these guys and watching a review from um, a couple of the fellas out there. Um, Carlo at C Squared Boxing, who does a fantastic job. If you guys are looking to get gloves, I'd always check him out first because um, he's super thorough, that kid. I mean, he goes through everything about it. I mentioned it in my Hayabusa um, T3 glove review, but that kid does a fantastic job. And I also watched... Um, um, an English guy named, uh, I don't know his name, but his channel is Fit to Box. And he's got a little scale, scale where he says, uh, you know, when it gives it a percentage out of 100%. Um, but he does a fantastic job reviewing gloves as well. I do short and sweet. So basically, basically if you're looking to go, man, should I get this glove or should I not get this glove? Um, that's what I do, short and sweet. I use them. I use the gloves constantly. I train all week long. And, um, uh, you know, I use all the equipment that I review thoroughly. I mean, I don't, I'm not getting loads and loads of pieces of equipment. I wish I could, but only what I could afford. So um, when I buy some and when I spend money on it, I'd really like it to be as, um, you know, the best value I can for the least amount of money. I'm sure a lot of you other guys out there, a lot of you guys are in the same boat. You want, um, you know, you want something good, something that's going to last you and something that's beautiful and high performance and, um, you know, the best bang for the buck pretty much. On that note, these are a fantastic bag glove. My ring sides were um, dirt cheap. I don't know, I couldn't pay more than $30 for them. When I got them, um, you know, I, 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 I box in gardening gloves if I have to. Um, so these things are a super duper fantastic treat. I got mine in medium, okay? So the medium is a little bit larger than my hand. Um, you know, I'm a medium in everything, in my shorts, in my, my shin guards, in my... You know, my t-shirts, my this, my that. Um, so I figured I'd be a medium in these things. But to be honest, they are a little large in the, um, in the hand compartment area. Um, I emailed Rival to see if I can get a pair of smalls. I thought that they'd be a little bit more compact and fit a little bit more directly to my hand. Because I like a nice tight fitting uh, back glove. These, these leather style back gloves. I like a nice and tight fitting to my hand. Um, some people wear hand wraps and stuff like that. That's on you. Um, I like to feel just my fist to the bag and, and, and doing what I got to do. Um, so I emailed, I think her name was Melanie at Rival in Las Vegas. Um, she emailed me right back. Fantastic customer service. She said she does not have the smalls and doesn't look like she's getting them in. Um, so I could have gone to Canada and ordered a pair, but the shipping was like $50. I was like, no chance. So what I did, um, I, I, I soaked these in water. I mean, these are brand new. They're a brand new glove. I really only used them about three times, four times. Um, and I love them, but I was just caught in between of them just being a little bit too large, that hand compartment as a medium um, and, and wanting the small. So... Today, I, I, I soaked them in some water. I soaked them in hot water for about a half hour, and then I stuck them in the dryer. I put them in the dryer for two hours. And um, there's not an amazing, amazing difference, but there's enough of a difference that I'm happy and I'm satisfied with them, and I can use them like this, that they're tighter around my fist. Like I said, I'm not going to be wrapping my hands when I use these. When I use my leather bag gloves, I like to just hit the bag and have my fists hitting you know, hitting the bags. Um, so on that note, these are an awesome glove. They are an awesome, awesome bag glove. If you notice on my ring sides here, there's no Velcro. There's no um, wrist protection, basically. They just kind of um, um, slide on and off, which is fine, you know, which is okay, because these are a smaller one that really fit my fist uh, very well. Um, but these things are just like basically leather, leather and bag, leather, fist and bag, and uh, that's all she wrote. Super duper old school. Um, they did their job. Super happy to have this upgrade of these guys. These guys have the Velcro wrist protection, which 
really adds a lot. I mean, it's not absolutely necessary, but it's so nice that it's there. Um, the padding is is better. It's not that it's much, much more than these old ring sides, but um, it's just enough to be beautifully comfortable for when you're slamming a heavy bag or when you're just touching the uh, double end bags. Um, the thumb is detached, of course, on those old school gloves. Um, but that's awesome because it, you, you get your punches right, you get your thumb position right, whether you've got gloves on or whether you're just bare fisted, you, you know, you're making proper fists, you're using your wrist correctly, you got your elbow behind that wrist, behind that fist, right, shoulder behind that elbow. It's, um, it really encourages and enforces you to, to punch correctly, which is ultimately what we all want and need to be doing, you know what I'm saying? Um, so all around, man, these gloves are beautiful. The leather's beautiful. The stitching's beautiful. The patch is beautiful. I mean, it, it's it's a it's a damn pretty glove, and I'm happy to have it. Um, mine were about forty four dollars. I think they were whatever they cost. Um, and for me, I think it's worth every penny because, you know, um, the leather's great, and I think these things are gonna last me a long time. Just like these guys have been years and years and years. I mean, well over ten years. I'm certain. Well over probably around 15 years I've had these guys and I use them every damn day um, these things are going to be the same and they look like they're much better quality than than the ringsides no offense against ringside I love ringside you guys do a fantastic job um, but these are just a cheap bag glove and they were awesome um, these look to be a little bit more detailed more expensive more expensive more um more went into these gloves so I'm expecting a, a, a lot out of these guys um, super happy to have them if you got the extra cash and you want a bag glove, you're into that sort of thing of that old school fist to leather to bag, um, you know, that grimy old school sort of feeling, um, which is what I'm about, um, get these. They're fantastic. The wrist protection, like I said, it's not super huge, but it's enough to make it even that much more comfortable. Fist, leather, um, fist, you know, leather glove, fist leather bag, and... Um, you know, that's all she wrote. Um, 100%, I'd give them. If I was doing a scale, if I had a scale, here we go, I got a scale now. 100%, these are a great bag glove. I'd put them in your gym bag and have them, whether you're just um, hitting some bags, double end, speed bag, heavy bag. Um, of course, not for sparring, you guys all know that, I'm certain. Um, yeah, get these for your gym bag. Um, that's it, cool, ciao. That's my boy.